This is the first part that Procut Precision Engineering have ever made on their Open Mind Hypermill software, but they couldn't have done it without their service and support. Steve, you've certainly thrown yourself in the deep end with this one, haven't you? Um, tell us more about this part. Well, well this, this, this part here was, was actually the first part that we produced using Open Mind and Hypermill. <laughs> we purchased it a little while ago, actually, and, uh, and, and Alex had, had done the training, but we just naturally kept falling back to our current provider due to tight deadlines and you know just, just one thing after another, and it was kind of just sitting there. But this, this, this part come along, and it was kind of out of the scope of our current CAD CAM. So we kind of made a decision that this was the part that we were going to jump in and manufacture five axis simultaneous first job. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. And we had two weeks to complete three of them. So it, it was a, it was a task. It was a task. It was a, it was, it was a, it, it was a, it was a quick learning curve to be honest. But to be fair, one thing I will say about open mind is, their support was absolutely phenomenal. Once we got going on this part, because it was complex, it was simultaneous machining, which we hadn't necessarily done before, every time we got stuck, we would phone them up and they would either deal with it there or then, or come back to us very, very quickly. There was none of this phone up, come back to us in a couple of days. It was sorted there and then. I, I was generally amazed. But Hypermill for you, as you've said off camera, is the next level. It is. Uh, well, we just wanted to go to the next stage. Tell us about the things that made this easier than you thought it might have been to make using Hypermill. What are the things that you learned that you thought, actually, this, this really is good? Um, well, the, the five axis and the Z level finishing is very good with this software. It's uh, a lot of you just click the surface and it will machine that surface. It's very easy to, once you understand how it works, it's very easy to actually use and come, come up to speed and, and you start doing more complex stuff a lot easier. And what about the tool library? Tool library is good. You're able to put a lot of information of what the tool is, the holder, and then when you put that information into the simulation, it will then calculate if it's going to collide with your holders or your model or your fixtures or the machine itself. It will, it will, it will detect and protect itself. It was a steep, very steep learning curve, but um, it's sort of what we needed to do to, to go, right, we're going to use this software and we're going to have to learn it very quickly in order to do it. The first stop, um, we held it like this. This is our Langweiss here. Uh, we're holding our part underneath and we would machine this top section and do all the internals and the outside profiles. And just out of interest, roughly how many tools involved in that first operation? We got roughly about 25 tools, um, so quite a lot, and the library keeps that information ready that you can then access it for other jobs coming up. So it makes the whole process of programming a lot quicker and easier. Okay, so once you've finished op one then, you've mm -hmm. obviously then got to turn the part over. What did you do? Have to create a fixture to secure it? Yeah, so we made uh, a fixture plate which located on the inside of this part here and then these little gold sections are tabs which were threaded and we pulled that down through and then flipped that jig plate onto our machine and then machine, machine side two. Op number two. How many, how many tools involved in this and how long did this side, taking into account you were new to this, take you to actually um, program? Uh, so there is six tools and uh, to program it probably took me a couple of days Okay, but yeah. if you but but now you've got experience, that would obviously probably significantly yeah. reduce. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, a combination of now I know what I need to do as well as how to go about doing it. It would drastically reduce um, probably half a day, maybe if I'm lucky. And when you look at this, there's some quite um, significant machining and metal removal to be done here off of the billet. Um, but what about these sort of fans area and getting the tools into the into those areas, longer tools, obviously the you know possible collisions and things like that. How 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 do you get over that one? Uh, with the tool library, you're able to set up 
your, your tool lengths and how far that cutter is sticking out from the holder, it will then use the information of that when it's calculating to avoid that and it will also tell you how much further that tool needs to stick out in order to avoid collisions as well. Could you have made any of this, Alex, without OpenMind's Hypermill? How difficult would it have been? Uh, it would have been difficult. I think uh, the side two, this side here, would have been very difficult with our previous software. I think it would have crashed a lot. There's a lot of information, a lot of line of codes mm. being produced. The total cycle time then of the finished part? Around 15 hours. Complete. Complete. Op one and op two. Yeah. From your experience now, working your way um, backwards, should we say, everything else seems easy now. Your, your programming, even some of your most simple components, aren't you using Open Minds yes. Hypermill? Yeah. You're finding that far better than your previous software and doing it at the machine. Yes, yeah, it's a lot easier. Um, it's, it's the push we needed to get onto it and, and do start using it effectively.